Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 46. When LFNC is used to connect equipment requiring flexibility after installation, a separate blank shall be installed. A. Equipment grounding conductor. B. Expansion fitting. C. Flexible non-metallic conductor. D. None of these. Okay, so what is LFNC? Liquid tight flexible non-metallic conduit. Also, what would be your first guess if you didn't know? Well, we had a similar question to this earlier, and an equipment grounding conductor was our answer. So you could uh, consider that. So let's find the exact answer, and we know all types of conduits have their own section in the code book. So let's look up this LFNC. Here we are in the index, LFNC, liquid tight flexible non-metallic conduit. A key non-metallic that means you have to have grounding and bonding. Now, you used to be able to have what was called a mechanical ground, where if you had metal conduit, that would be allowed to act as a ground. And then they changed the code, and you had to always pull a ground wire. But there were certain exceptions where you could have that mechanical ground. Well, if you have non-metallic conduit, it's non-conductive. So you know you're going to need grounding and bonding. Here, installation. The question asks for flexibility, requiring flexibility after installation, so that could be it. But I really like this grounding and bonding first. And so let's check it out, 356.60. Here we are at 356.60, it says grounding and bonding. And right away, this is uh, almost word for word, we're used to connect equipment where flexibility is required and equipment grounding conductor shall be installed. That was choice A in our examination. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.